In this video, you will learn how to create a sprint burndown chart in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have generated this sprint burndown chart using this set of data. This one is three column data. First column shows the dates, second column shows the planned work or ideal trend, and third column shows the actual work. So, if you are interested to generate burndown chart, you should have three column data. If you look at this graph, the x axis shows the time and the y axis shows the remaining tasks value. Here are two lines in burndown chart. The red one shows the planned work or the ideal trend and the green one shows the actual work done. For example, in this case, we have to complete 10 tasks in a sprint and we are interested to complete one task on daily basis. So one task is subtracted from this value. For example, 10 minus 1, 9, 9 minus 1, 8, 8 minus 1, 7. It is not mandatory that you should have complete one task on daily basis. You can complete three tasks, four tasks or five tasks. For example, if we plan to complete two tasks on this date, then the remaining tasks will be eight. And if we have completed further three tasks, then the remaining tasks will be five. So it is not mandatory that you should have complete only one task. You can adjust this value according to your requirement. For time being, I will adjust these values to nine and eight. Now look at this actual work. We are planning to complete one task on daily basis, but we are not able to complete that task. So remaining tasks are 10 and it is indicated by these lines. If the actual work line is above from planned work line or ideal trend line, it indicates that we are behind the tasks. We have to speed up the work in order to meet the time limit. According to our planning, the remaining task should be 8, but we are not completed the task according to our planning and the remaining tasks are 9 and it is indicated by this line. Now here you can see here that we have speed up the work and we have completed 3 tasks and the remaining tasks are 6 and according to our planning the remaining task should be 7. It is good for us because we are ahead of this plan. So if your actual work line is below the planned work line or ideal trend line, it indicates that you are ahead of time and you are working with good speed. That's good for you. Assume that we have completed another task on this date. So remaining tasks will be 4. In next date, we are not able to complete any tasks. So remaining tasks will be 4. Now you can see here these lines are overlap. It indicates that we are working according to our plan and we are not behind or ahead of from timeline. So in actual work, you can enter the value of remaining tasks and Microsoft Excel will generate a sprint one down chart according to your requirement. For example, if I enter to press enter, now you can see here it is displayed here. Again, I will enter to press enter. Now it is displayed on here. So basically sprint burn down chart shows the overall and day to day team progress towards the goal. In summary, it shows the progress against time. So let's learn how to create sprint burn down chart in Microsoft Excel. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will select this data. After selecting this data, go to insert tab and here you will find the option of charts group. In charts groups, you will find the option of insert line or area chart. Select this one. Here you have two options. You can create line graph with marker or without marker. I will select line graph with marker. Select this one. I will place it here. You can use this handle to resize this graph. Select this graph. At the corner, you will find the option of chart element option, which is plus sign. Click on it. You will find different options. I don't want these grid lines, so I will uncheck this option. I want to insert axis title, so I will select this value. Now you will learn how to edit chart title and axis title. Select chart title, put equal sign in formula bar. Select the chart title, press enter. Go to home tab and format it according to your requirement. Black color, 18 font size. Similarly, edit the y-axis title, click here, again click here, 
and write remaining tasks. X axis values shows the dates. Now select this Y axis title and format it according to your requirement. I will change it to 12 font size. Now select this one. After selecting the Y axis title, double click on this format painter option to copy this format and apply it on others. I will click here, click on X axis values and X axis title and click on this legend to format it like this one. Now deselect this one. Now click on Y axis values, right click, go to format axis. From here, you will find the option of fill and line. Go to line option. From here, you will find the option of solid line. You can adjust the width of this line 1.5 pt. Color black is already selected. Now go to axis option. From here, you can insert tick marks. You can also adjust the minimum and maximum value using these options. I want to insert tick marks on outside, select outside, for minor type tick marks outside. Similarly, click here, now X axis is selected, go to fill and line option and repeat the procedure as I earlier explained. Black color line, 1.5 pt width, go to axis option to insert tick marks, scroll down. Here is the option of tick marks, major type tick marks outside, minor type tick marks outside. Close this one. Now again select X axis values, right click, go to format axis. Here you will find the option of size and properties. And here is the option of custom angle. You can adjust these values according to your requirement. I will reduce it. So by using this option, you can easily adjust the angle of these labels. Now I will select this legend. Place your cursor on this line when four arrow sign appeared here. Drag it down to your favorite location. I will close this one. Now click on this chart area and using this handle, you can resize this graph. Now, if you are interested to format this line, select this line. Right click, go to format data series option. Go to fill and line option and from here you can select solid line. You can change the color of this line using this option. For example, I want to change the color of this line to purple. Now you can see here the color is changed to purple. Similarly, you can adjust the width of this line using this option. You can increase its width or decrease its width using these options. In addition, if you are interested to format the markers, Select marker instead of line and from here you will find the option of marker. Select build in. From here you can select the type of marker. You can select the size of marker. Similarly, you can insert solid border around these markers. I will select no line. And from fill option you can change the color of this marker using solid fill. And from here you can choose the any color. For example, in this case, I will choose purple. I will close this one. Similarly, if you want to format the other line, click on it. Now you can see here, 
second line is selected place your cursor on this line right click go to format data series option go to fill line line option and from here you can format the line as i earlier explained go to line option select solid line choose the color of this line and from here you can choose the width of this line Similarly, if you are interested to format this marker, you can repeat the procedure as I earlier explained. So by following this tutorial, you can easily create a burn down chart in Microsoft Excel. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.